OTAN Outreach and Technical Assistance Network. OTAN Resources for Adult Education. OTAN Technology and Distance Learning Symposium 2020. Start off, I want to welcome you to TDLS, and I'm excited to share with you some OTAN resources. I feel like it's something that's hidden that uh, people don't know about, and there's so much work that goes into some of these projects that I want you to know about them and be able to use them. Okay, our objectives. Well, basically we're going to dig for buried treasure on the OTAN website. Um, there's a lot people don't know about and I want this workshop to be interactive. So, if you have a laptop, a phone, a tablet, we are staying on the OTAN website. We aren't going any further. Um, there's just so much to view. So um, please feel free to follow along. Um, I love this graphic. It's one of my favorites. Um, and it shows many of the projects that OTAN does. Um, we're going to start here with the news articles. There are news articles that come out every single month both for teachers and for administrators. And we will talk about how to get those. You already know about TDLS. Um, there are online resources for ad adult education. Uh, here's the Teachers and Administrators Digest. And then we have Teaching with Technology, which is an online database of activities for your students. And we'll talk about those. And then face-to-face -face and online training. So OTAN does a lot. It's one of the uh, three leadership projects for California. Um, you have CalPRO, you have CASAS, and you have OTAN. And CalPRO is more of research. Uh, CASAS is testing. <laughs> and account what? And reporting. Accountability. <laughs> um, at, uh, I work also for Baldwin Park, and I'm in charge of data and accountability. Nice. So I'm, I'm very keen on that. Um, and then, what was the last one? OTAN, technology, um, enhancing your lessons. Um, this is the OTAN website. I usually just put in OTAN.us um, and get to their site. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going across these little tabs here because there's so much. Um, first one we're going to look at is training. We're at the first tab, so if you have your phone or something, you want to go to training. And under training, we have face-to-face -face workshops, online workshops, um, TDLS, Digital Leadership Academy, and the California Adult Education Professional Development Training Calendar, where you can get lots of uh, webinars, classes, face-to-face. -face. Um, this is only part of them. But you can get OTAN to come out to your site. How many have had OTAN come? Not that many. Well, you guys, it's awesome. It is absolutely amazing. <laughs> if you can do it, do it. Yeah, they'll come out for three hours and do a workshop. And it's anything to do with technology. What, what do we have up here? Um, Chromebooks for adult education, communicating with Google. Um, what's that? I'm going down. Google Classroom for adult education. You want your teachers to get involved with Google Classroom. Uh, we go out. Uh, another one that is beginning to be popular is OER, Open Educational Resources. You ever working on a paper or something like that? How do I cite this particular image? Do I have licensing rights? Where do I find things? You want to make a worksheet for your students. If you want to be precise, you've got to have uh, permission to use images. Anyway, that's a different one. Um, Microsoft Office for Adult Education. I know you can't see these. 
privacy, Google Tools, Google Drive, uh, all kinds. Now, if you want one, wow, that's hard to read, face-to-face um, -face workshops, basically, you have to have 10 people signed up two weeks in advance, and they will come out. You just need 10 people. And if you don't have 10 teachers, you can also go um, open it up to the community so that other adult schools may, you know, they may have people that want to attend. And then the word goes out. And there's some fine tips here. All devices must have a current up-to-date browser version, da 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 da. The fine, finer details are there. Online workshops. Um, they are scheduled. I'm fine. Life's good. <laughs> She's checking. Um, these are some of the online workshops. Um, I just did one last week, week before, on uh, Learn Learn 360. Um, it, and that was an hour and a half. There's workshops. There are OTAN Tech Talks. I think it's the second um, Friday of the month at 1 o'clock. They do a Tech Talk. Tech Talk's a little bit different. Um, with a Tech Talk, they do a presentation. You can't ask any questions. It's all scripted. Um, it's just straight information. That's for the first 20 to 30 minutes. But then you get to ask questions, see demonstrations. You know, it's, it's, it's great. There's one coming up on uh, Loom. Have you ever heard of Loom? Video messaging. I love it. I'm giving one on the 13th on um, Google uh, Loom. Not Google. Loom. Just Loom. It's called Loom. And you can actually send a video message in Gmail. It's cool. It is very simple. You can send it with a kind of a silhouette down in the corner. And uh, I use it to report problems. <laughs> I mean, I, I, something doesn't work, I'll uh, send it to Joey, one of the programmers, and I'll say, this is what happened, and I can show him. When I got to here, this is the error message I got. You know, It's a little video. It's quick. It's simple. They can see exactly what I did. I kind of talk them through it. So it's easy for me. And I think what I like the, the most is the ease of using it. But this is just one of the tech talks, OK? One tech talk. There's all kinds of them. All right, so be sure to check out tech talks. They, they will come up. Uh, they are posted on the other site, so we'll get to that. Uh, requirements here, you just have to be able to hear them and type. Uh, you don't have to have a microphone. Um, they normally, on Tech Talks and webinars, you don't have to have a microphone. It's nice if you do, but beyond that, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you already know about this. Um, and what happens is, if one year it's in the north, so we're in the north. Um, and then next year it'll be in Southern California, somewhere. I think they're trying to get it in um, San Diego, somewhere down there. But yeah, it'll be back up here. Some, I think we were in Fresno not too long ago. So yeah. Um, this one, <laughs> the Digital Leadership Academy. I can't stop talking about it. Um, this is, we, have you heard of TMAC? Any TMACers? No TMACers. Ah, Farzana, yes. And then we went to, uh, TMAC was uh, Technology Integration Mentor Academy. And then we went to OTAC because we wanted to get involved more with online. So what we did was we did an online, um, online Teachers Academy. And they were both running at the same time, TMAC and OTAC. And then they said, hey, let's bring these two together. And that's where we got um, DLAC. And you'll find a lot of DLACers here today because that's part of the program is they come and they present. So you'll see them presenting their projects. And what it is, um, you have about three 
in your group and you can apply. It's opening up in April, I hope. <laughs> yes, she said yes. Okay, it's opening up in April and you have an administrator, um, maybe a couple of teachers, and you have a plan from your professional development plan. Um, you, no, technology plan. From your technology plan and you um, just take on a project. You want, I think, I had one, um, one school who went from, went to online teaching and she had 350 some odd students enrolled within the first year. But OTAN gives you the support. They give you a coach um, to support you. You meet with your coach on a monthly basis. You come up to Sacramento, so if you're from Sacramento, that's gonna be easy. But you come up, it's paid for by OTAN. Um, the agency is just responsible for um, the time off. So giving you time up, off to come on up. Um, I don't think, well I've got Farzana who is a coach. Um, I don't have anyone in here from BLAC. But it's really a great opportunity. Oh, there we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, she's DLAC. So it's great. And it, it really, think about your agency. If you're interested in any type of distance learning or blended learning, um, there is the, it's a two year program or project. And uh, there you get online training. Um, Dr. Paul comes in with some great, um, <laughs> he's great. Anyway, um, but anyway, and if you want more information, you can talk to Netta. She's in charge of it. Or you can ask any of the coaches. Farzana's a coach. I'm a coach. Um, I'm trying to think who else. I don't even know who our coaches are. <laughs> Susan Gare, yes. Amazing. Um, but yeah, ask about it. And talk to your administrators about forming a team. We like to get to throughout the state. We want to serve every agency. So if your agency was involved, probably not the next time. Um, although I know my agency was involved with TMAC and with um, DLAC, but it was years apart. So just want to serve everyone and give the opportunity to as many um, schools as possible. Okay? So that's DLAC. So please, it's two years. Um, they even, they're listing the dates. You also meet online as a, a huge group, the whole group. And I think we have, what, seven agencies right now? Seven agencies. And they're here presenting, which is amazing. You know, I say, my first time. And they will do a final presentation in May in, um, at SCOE, Sacramento County Office of Education. And if you want to, you can come by and see their projects. It's great. Anyway, um, this is the calendar. California Adult Education Professional Development. And as you can see, there are entries here. You can barely read them. But it's all of the webinars, the meetings, everything that's happening with California Adult Education. It's a good place to take a look. Um, CASAS um, posts a lot of workshops, online webinars, and what's going on. Um, those will go here. I like to look just at OTAN, <laughs> okay? And so you can actually filter and say, yeah, I just want to see what OTAN has to offer, or I just want to see what CalPRO has to offer. So take a look at what your interests are, or CASAS. There's always CASAS workshops. They're great. Okay, so that's where you can find that. And this was all under training. Okay, so all of this is found under training. Now, let's go to resources because there are all kinds of resources available to you. Um, we're gonna take first a look at the curriculum offers, adult education courses, um, teaching with technology, so there's a lot of things there. Um, I would say the majority of your resources are right there. But let's go on. Curriculum offers. Um, 
We have CK12, and there is a workshop on that tomorrow. So um, take a look at that. CK12, well, let's go on. There's CK12, Essential Education, iPathways, Learn360. I'm doing Learn360 tomorrow, so it's another opportunity. Um, learning Upgrade, and NROC and Revolution English. So let's take a look. CK12. Um, how many think uh, textbooks are high priced? <laughs> Everybody, right? Um, CK12 uh, has free textbooks. You can go in, and it's a lot of math and sciences. Um, I was teaching high school, and what I did was I had a, uh, I think it was a biology book. And I actually would put up lessons that matched with the textbook. All right? You could, but now they've got into these flex books and they're interactive. They put videos in them. How exciting is that? And you can design it yourself. You know, I don't want to do that chapter first. Let's do it down here. Oh. You can create your own textbook. It's amazing. Uh, they started out probably 12 years ago, 10, 12, something like that. I heard them at a Q conference and I said, wow. And now with the Flexbooks, there's interactives. So great resource. I want you to take a look at it and possibly attend the uh, workshop tomorrow. Essential education, self-paced, blended, learning course from essential education. So a resource for you, okay? I pathways. This is more um, prep for GED, high set. Um, and uh, it is a project, um, web-based high school equivalency prep curriculum. On any of these, there is fine print. Where is it? Down here, please fill out the sign-up form. And what you have to do is you go to the website here, um, and I'm going to, yeah, and then just click and say you want to sign up for it, OK? And they will get you started. Yes, they did that with EdReady, and we'll talk about EdReady, but they kept a version, OK? So I'm not certain what their plan is. I don't think they want to just totally drop it. But I honestly don't know. But I would put your name in and say, I want to continue on. Uh, what's the status? Or pick up the phone and call OTAN. Uh, I don't have any problem calling. <laughs> when I get stuck, I'm not going to fret over it for too long. I'll just call up and ask. Not a problem. OK? All right, this is Learn360. This is my baby. <laughs> I love Learn360. Um, when I started presenting on this, they had 94,000 multimedia resources. Uh, that's quite a few. What I like about Learn360 is they may take a, a video, a long video, um, and they chop it up. Okay? So here's the section on nouns. Here's the section on verbs. You know, they have these little segments, and uh, you can. Um, Put it into your Google Classroom. It goes right in. Um, there's also Canvas, Moodle. Um, you can get an embed code. You can put it on your website. Um, but it is pretty amazing. And right here is where to sign up for it. You have to be a WIOA 2 funded agency. Um, and right here, this. This is a tech talk I did last year, I think, that gives you kind of an overview, although it has changed since uh, the fall. <laughs> it, it's constantly changing. Doing a workshop, as I said, uh, tomorrow on Learn360, um, show you what's there. There are, he's mentioning in, in Spanish, but you can translate pages into just, I think it's 100 languages or something, 100 and something. I mean, there's all kinds of languages, but it'll speak in English, 
but it will give a transcript on the side and the whole page can be uh, translated into a hundred different languages. So it's really pretty amazing. Okay, let's go on. Learning upgrade, over 900 English and math CCRS aligned lessons. So here's another one. But what you need to do, what I'm asking you to do today is to focus in on your agency and, and what you need because there's an overwhelming amount here. Okay, NROC, I love NROC. The developmental English and the developmental math is now in Moodle courses. So if you are, you have a Moodle course um, or you want a Moodle course, they'll actually set it up. So those two, EdReady, I love EdReady. Um, I wish our agency used it more. But EdReady started out as a company that wanted to prepare uh, students for college in particular, the college entrance exams. So if you were to go to edready.org, um, what you would find is you or any, uh, any of your students could log on and um, they take you through, they, they ask you what college you're going to um, and what test they give type of thing. And they can study specifically, uh, it's mainly math, um, but you can study for that particular test. So you find the college in, in your area and you can do that. But you as a teacher have no record of what the student is doing, uh, which I don't like. But they did a pilot, OTAN did a pilot, and um, my agency signed up for EdReady. And inside we were able to say hey, we want this module and we don't want that module you know, we were actually able to design our own course. So students come in, they take a diagnostic, and then they only work on the gaps. Now, whatever they missed, and they can test out of it very quickly. In other words, they can take a small yeah, um, test that's like, I don't know, it's probably three questions on a topic, they can, if they can pass it, and it's broken down in these little tiny increments. We used to do um, uh, awards. We put it into a Moodle course, and we celebrated who gained the most points in a week. So top learners for this week, and we had flashing banners and everything else uh, to support them. But I could see when was the last time they were online, how long they spent online, and there's also the videos, the practice, and everything else that if and whether they went to study the topic or whether they just took the exam. It used to be that students, at least the problem I had with my students, was the fact that they would actually bypass the study part and just keep taking the test over and over. They fixed that part. <laughs> so now students, if they, they can take it once, but if they don't pass, but the, then they go on to a video. Um, it, it's a whole series of these videos. They show them how, then they get them to practice. There's, it's probably about five different mini lessons in, involved. Then they come back and they can test. No, this is, this is totally um, ed ready. When they, the pilot finished, that's just how my, my school did it. Um, when they, are, we're finished, you can get an EdReady um, course from OTAN because the pilot ended and then, um, and they have all kinds of different ones, uh, learning paths. They have for healthcare workers, for pharmacy techs, what math do they need to know, you know? And they've got all these learning pathways, uh, might be something you wanna do before they go into a vocational program. Culinary arts, what math do they need to know uh, in culinary? And uh, anyway, I, I love EdReady. And if you want EdReady, um, is this the pathways? Math pathways aligned by category? Yeah, I would talk to OTAN, there's, there's a link there. Just uh, give them a call. 
and say you're interested in EdReady and you want it for this particular class, they can come up with um, the pathway. In other words, if you're doing automotive, what do they need to know in math, okay? And they'll, they'll give you that. They may have to download. But the thing is, it's on OTAN server, whereas when we did the pilot, it was on NROC server. So it, it's, it's a little bit different, um, but it's great. And it's also free. It's free, yeah. Everything I'm telling you about, there is no charge. Okay? I'm not telling you about anything. I mean, you could get a, a, a premium package on something, but no, you don't need it. And what OTAN does, they receive funds from the state, and they want to look at the field and see what the needs are, um, and they will have different projects, um, different pilots. Let's try this out. Is this good for adult education? And they will invest the money so that you get it free. Revolution English. I don't know much about Revolution English. Here is, if you really want to, this is a tech talk. I don't know who did this, but anyway, there is a tech. It helps students practice English outside the classroom. And it uses language immersion strategies, coaching techniques, and accessibility, accessible um, technology. So here's another one if you're interested in it. This is uh, California adult education courses. Um, you can request a Moodle. And you if you decide you want your teachers to use Moodle, you might want to get training to go along with it. Moodle, you can design your own course. Um, it's very easy. Um, if you start from scratch, I'd say it's a little on the difficult side. I've been doing Moodle for years upon years, and it just takes some experience. There's some areas, I'm, it's, the potential is there for doing some really great things. You can also access Learn 360 through a Moodle to put it into your course. So a lot of cool things you can do with it. But up here is where I take a look. OTAN has uh, paid people to develop courses. Um, so there are some courses up there. I know there's some English classes, um, English courses, et cetera, there. Other shared courses, uh, a shared course would be I create a course, they look at it and they say, oh, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, hey, um, would you mind sharing it? And they'll put it up. They're working on some with EL Civics shared courses, some of the co-apps, they've got some up there. Um, I heard they're not totally finished yet, but they are coming. So something for next year maybe, um, which is a great resource. And then it is listed by school. Ah, my school's here. And we have, I don't know, quite a few um, Moodle courses. But it is uh, a maintenance type of thing where, you know, you can add quizzes, you can add lessons, you can add videos, you can add just about anything to a Moodle course. But that, if you start from the ground up, it will take you a while to put it together. But, all right, web-based class activities. We have a team of writers. Um, I think there are three or four of us. Um, and uh, every month there is a new web-based article that comes out. Um, and it is something that is current, something that we feel is beneficial to the field, um, can be on different topics. Um, I think the one this month, I don't even know if it's come out, is on um, reading for healthcare workers. It's out? Okay, it is out. All right. So, and there's the, the past one. So if you want to take a look at what's been coming out, OTAN has articles from every single month that come out. But a web-based um, artic article, um, once it comes out, now it goes into a teaching with technology activity. 
at the end of every article, there is a sample um, activity. So it tells you what you need to do this activity. And, hi. Um, and then how to prep for it, what you need to do, all the steps. And then how to give it as a lesson. What are the, you know. Um, and then s some suggestions on how you might change it. A ton of resources. It just goes on and on and on. Um, this is Teaching with Technology. It is an online database okay, with activities um, by program area. And it just got shifted over. Um, and this is updated every year. You know how things get broken? Um, activities now are being removed that have flash. Um, you know, they're, it's updated. It's, it's kept current. And we write articles or we write activities on a, um, a yearly. We, and there's actually some videos in there. Um, well, let's take a look at one. This is an activity. California Distance Learning Project Adult Learning Activity. Stolen identity, identity Blocks New Job. Okay, this was just one, and there are probably a hundred different other articles you could do the activity on, but this is just one to give you a, a sample. Um, here is, I know you can't see this, but this is the website. So you click there. This is what's needed. You need computer, computers, internet access, projector for class presentation. Uh, sample, I think that's document. Stolen identity document, okay, uh, has new words list. Here is a description on what it's, the activity is about. And here's preparation. Preview the story. Mm -hmm. Review the activities available. Um, I can't read it, sorry. <laughs> but anyway, it goes through, there's more to it. Whoops, I want this. How to. And it tells you the steps, how to, to do the lesson, how to, um, what the steps of this lesson. Assign activities, be available during the computer activity experience, especially if the students are new to the internet. Teacher tips. The story, stories are good uh, jump off place uh, to writing assignments. Okay, so there's little tips. Here's the website, more ways, keywords, so if you were to search for um, something on fractions, you'd come up with an awful lot because, to be honest, uh, probably math in general because there's so much out there. Anyway, this is Teaching with Technology, um, and we have a team that is writing um, activities for this. So, Oh, this is the actual article. Um, so, students read the article, and there are some other, I think there's some activities beyond that. But take a look. Lesson plan builder, needed to, to write some lesson plans. And um, these lesson plans are set up for warm up, introduction, presentation, practice, evaluation, and application. And you can make make your own lesson plans. It is kind of like a template, I would say. Um, you sign up, and if you were there, if you created some last year before the new website came out, then uh, they're still there, but you have to sign in again or something. So that's Lesson Plan Builder. OTAN Le Library. <laughs> Over the years, there's been lots of uh, articles written on different subjects, different topics. And kind of the question came up, what do we do with them? This is where they are. They might be really old. I don't know. But it's just a place to store them. Some of them are still applicable today. Uh, you might take a look around if you're looking for something specific. But this is the OTAN library. Employment, employability skills. Um, and I think there was like, oh, I can't read it, but anyway. California Adult Ed Provider Directory. 
you can put in a zip code and find all the adult education schools in the area, um, which is kind of cool. So you have a student who is now moving to, well, we're in Sacramento, LA, somewhere in LA. Put in a zip code and you can find what schools are available. So you can tell that, you know, hey, there's a school right there. It's close to where you're moving, all right? And help them out. A and I want, I want to train you. When you find an error or a mistake or something that's not connecting, report it to OTAN. Yeah, um, they just changed the new site. The new site is, um, what do they call it? Responsive technology. So if you're on a cell phone or you're on a laptop, oh, yeah, it knows and will change to accommodate the device that you are using. Um, and that was a big change. Um, we, could, we couldn't get into teaching with technology for a little while <laughs> um, because there's, you know, programming issues. Report it. If something doesn't work, your school is not there, report it. Okay. There's also a page on adult education students succeed. You ever have a student who came through your class, um, finally graduated, it was a struggle, but they made it, they graduated, and then they went on to uh, be part of the city council or became a, an engineer or something like that? Celebrate it. I can't remember, I had one student that went through and then finally graduated from college, came back and told me about it, and I said, oh, yes! <laughs> and uh, they're up there someplace, okay? So, something to celebrate. Online applications, oh, this is more, um, you can find uh, links to stuff at CDE, um, applications, um, I go there rather than try to go to through CAPE. But anyway, um, and I think, let me see if I'm not mistaken, there's a welcome letter, welcome back from Carolyn Zachary, a video, links to those, applications. Um, I believe the WEO application was there, um, things like that, okay? More information. For more information about specific areas within this site, Oh, yeah, Distance Learning Plan, Workforce Innovation Act, so course approvals, non-federal funds expended for adult education, all right. I would say more for administration. We are, we just finished resources, okay. So here are all the resources we just covered under that tab. There's a lot, especially when you consider curriculum offers is quite a few. So let's go on to stay connected. I want to point out before we go, see where it says join OTAN? You can join OTAN. All you need to put in is your email address. And then you can sign up for, I want the teacher digest in my email every month. I want the quarterly newsletter in my email every month. Oh. And then you want to be, in, I encourage you to be, uh, to check a box that says, I want to be informed of professional development opportunities within my area. Okay. And they will send you. PCC or Pasadena City College is doing a workshop on OER. Okay, oh, and it's open. Then I can go to their facility and take their workshop. So it, it's just nice to know. It may not be your agency, but it's training. All right, um, so let's go through this. Wow, I'm doing good. Um, adult education news. Um, there's articles all the time up on the OTAN webpage, um, depending on what's happening. Uh, I don't know what's up. Uh, two OTAN webinars coming up. 
Um, a reminder about TDLS. Um, there are articles that they post on the website. And that's where these are kind of saved. So, and they change rapidly from one day to the next day. It changes that fast. Um, and let's see, Digital Inclusion Week begins. OTAN Tech Talk on Screencastify and Teaching Vocabulary with Technology Training coming up. Um, this may be a little old. Administrator's Digest. Um, it's actually been redesigned, um, but news you can use, OTAN, um, what type of webinars, what type of training is coming up for that month so that you as an administrator can get your team involved in it. Um, what else? But plans are underway for um, this uh, TDLS. This is the Teacher's Digest. It's changing a little. Um, these, I told them I wanted pictures. <laughs> Make it look nice. Uh, but anyway, um, they used to have something that I really loved. It was called um, web sightings. So somebody found a, a new website that was, you know, great for adult education, then um, it would be posted there. And a little information. To me, that's really important. You get all these ideas of, of different sites. You can try it out before somebody writes an article on it. <laughs> anyway, this is Teacher's Digest. This is a newsletter. It comes out quarterly. You can have it mailed to you. I'm surprised it wasn't in your packet. Oh, it is? OK. I'm sorry, I didn't see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it comes out every quarter. You can have it mailed to you if you want, or you can um, get it in your um, yeah email. So anyway, that's cool. Two to three times a year. I thought it was, I think it's quarterly now, and it's a. It would come to you in your email as a PDF, but here's the hard copy. Oh, here's join. I talked about joining. All you have to put in is your email address, All right? That's it. And I would like to receive the following OTAN publications, and you can go through each one. It's very quick. I would like to receive email notifications about, and these I believe are more like program areas. I want, and what do you have on ESL? Okay, send me information on notifications on ESL. Okay, so be sure to sign up for this. It's it's amazing. Video presentations. You notice Doug in the back here. Yeah, he's filming. And what's going to happen to the video? Um, he's going to send it to, well, he's going to do some editing probably. And then he's going to, <laughs> well, probably a lot, he's going to send it to Marjorie. And Marjorie has to come up with closed captions. All right, so it has to be closed captioned. And then it is put up on OTAN's YouTube channel. All right, they're there. They're there for you to, to, to use. Um, all the Tech Talks, I talked about Tech Talks, they are 20 minutes, 30 minutes um, scripted to make it easier on the staff, um, and then you, they are posted. It may take a, a couple of weeks or so, depending on how many things they've been filming, but it's available to you. So I want you to, to know where they are. There's featured videos. DLAC, um, all their uh, presentations are filmed. They did presentations last May, and the ones from last year, I believe, are up there. Um, it's, you know, a lot of resources. If you're interested in DLAC, which I hope you are, I'm, I'm pushing for DLAC, um, because I think it's wonderful. It, it just helps you get everything um, going on your project. If, if you have something you want to introduce, distance learning. A lot of schools are going for distance learning. Um, also, the blended learning. Um, so that's available. 
This is the Tech Talks. We have one on embedding digital literacy skills into adult, um, into adult ESL. Um, I think, I can't read it, sorry. Um, LinkedIn for adult education, online resources and ideas to support ABE, AOC, and ELL job seekers. Here's Revolution English. Evaluating, uh, evaluating re websites, Learns 360, Moodle courses for ESL. That gives you a good preview if you're interested in any of the Moodle sites. Uh, they go through each one and, and let you, you preview them. And you can also go on the Adult Ed Courses website and you can enter as a guest and see, see what it looks like. Um, or you can enroll in it. They, you just go in and do you want to enroll to, and you're in. So you can preview it, see what it's like, uh, and decide if that's something. And the thing with those courses is you can say, I like this, but I don't like this. Okay, you can hide it. I would suggest hiding it instead of deleting it because you may come back, I may come back to haunt you. Uh, but anyway, Quizlet. And, ooh, I'm really doing good. Um, here is OTAN's website. Um, I want you to subscribe to their YouTube channel and it, don't go search OTAN. I've done that before. Um, you have to have OTAN, OTAN serves adult education. All right, that'll get you in. And you can see all the videos. Um, there are training videos on how to put things into Moodle, um, different things on Excel. Uh, there are all kinds of series where someone has created little short videos on how to do things. Um, like us on Facebook. And um, there's a lot going on on Twitter. OTAN has a good uh, Twitter presence. So, um, and they will post, you know, there's a tech talk coming up. Be sure to join, you know, and tell you what it's about. So there's a lot of things happening there that I want to make sure you take part in. And, but, all right, we have time. I, I was worried about the time because I heard I had 50 minutes and I said, oh my. So that's why everything is um, static. It's on a PowerPoint, uh, it has screenshots, plus you never know about the internet. So, let's get out of here. No, you have to have 10 enrolled. So you, you're going to have to make some plans ahead of time. And uh, the person to contact is Melinda Holt. Yeah. She kind of schedules everything. And then she pulls up and she says, okay, in your area, who's the best trainer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was who? Her. Yeah, she's great. Um, yeah, she's the best of the best. Anyway, um, but she will coordinate with you, um, make sure you have the um, necessary equipment to do it, et cetera. And then uh, the cutoff point is two weeks ahead of time because if she has to get a flight to your agency, um, you have to have 10 enrolled by that date. So um, you can just contact her she would love to hear from you um, she does quite a few workshops and has a ball doing them www.otan.us